Hi, you guys. It's your girl, Chrissy, again. I am back over here. My quality is still the same, so I, I know it seems like I like you guys, but I didn't. I'm just trying to get things figured out. It's so hard, especially when you don't have the funds to make things happen. And I'm trying to figure this thing out. Like, there's like, you can use this and use that for YouTube, but I'm using what I have and none of this stuff is working. I was using my iPod. The quality was okay. I was getting videos up. And I have so many videos that I haven't put up that were on there that I was just waiting for. And then it just so happened that it just stopped working on me. So I don't even know what to tell you about that. Um, I just came on here to let you know, let you guys know that I was having a tough time with it. Uh, I don't know if you guys like my hair. I still need to fix some parts of my hair. Of course, they crochet braids. It's my first time ever doing crochet braids. And I got the uh, faux locks. And I like it. I like it. Especially the style that I did right here is why I like it. Because I need to get my braid pattern better and closer together or it don't actually look okay. I'm going to try a few different styles. And I'm probably going to be doing my own hair for a minute because I'm trying to save money because I'm trying to move out of my mother's room. Um, But yeah, that's, that's all about that. Uh, I did get a new camera. I'm just trying to figure out how to work it. I didn't get like a, a huge camera. Um, I got like a little camera. And I don't know if I have everything I need to use it yet. So we shall see on that part. But push come shove. I'm going to look it up and figure out how to use it. Um, My earrings are from Charlotte Roos. I know they jury is two for five. Mm -hmm. So I, had, I always get like these pack of studs. Just in case you was wondering. That was one of the videos I had did the other day. I might put that up because I did that on my computer. I might put that up. Uh, and I, I feel myself because I did just get my nails fixed. I'm switching subject to subject, but I might as well tell y'all. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see, but this one has lashes on it. Individual lashes. I'll see if I can lift that up. But this one has no lash. You can see as I turn to the side. Uh, yeah. I went to get my lashes done by a place that I was referred to by my cousin. My lashes bomb. My lashes were bomb. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna skip that. Lashes bomb. So I was like, well, I need my nails done. I work a lot. By the time I get over to my side of town, my nail shop is closed. Or it's really late, almost time for the close. It's just a rush. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and get my nails done. If they can do lashes, they can do nails. I have issues with people trying me because I look like I'm 10 when I'm actually almost 30 with a child. But anyways, so I, I see a lady waiting for me, but she looks like she's waiting anxiously, which they never do that. They be doing something, eating or whatever, or they be like, what color? You know, stuff like that. No, she's just like, like looking at me like, what the freak? And I don't think these people know. They probably looked at me and was like, oh, she her nails done every blue moon. No, I've been getting my nails done straight and pretty darn on time for about five years now. And especially since I've had got older and and I can afford it. I love getting my nails done. So I'm just like, what are they about to do? So I'm up there, I'm sitting and she's doing my nails. And then I noticed something. The way she was doing it. She was really gentle. And if anybody get the nails done, most of the people are not very gentle. They like kind of rough. Sometimes you be like, all right, you feel to get punished. She wasn't like that. She was real gentle. And then the way she did my nails, it looked like when I tried to do my own nails with acrylic. I've never seen anybody do my nails like that before. So I'm just like, are you practicing? She was like, no. I'm like, are you, you sure? Like... How many people have you, how many people you've done nails for? And she was just like, well, one, and then um, I was there, I, I've been here for a year, and then I worked at another place before that. A year? I got a problem with that. Most people be there forever. And I know you got to start somewhere, but I, mm -mm, I wasn't feeling it. Mm -mm, I wasn't feeling it. Mm -mm. And she kept doing my nails, kept doing it, it kept looking a hot mess. Then she called him in. She was like, eh. talking to her language, like, come help. And he was like, I have customer. And so then I was like, y'all letting this lady up up my nails, and I'm about to spend 60 something dollars a year? I don't like this. 
Now, needless to say, the only reason why I was like, man, I'm going to bite this and keep going on because their nails are cheap. I get a full set and I got like gel and it was not that much. Gel was like $50 and the full set was like 20 So I guess like 35 It's probably the same amount that I paid my other ones. I can't really remember, but it was a mood changing, like um, mood changing nails. And I like those. It was like pink sparkly. And it was still 15 It wasn't like they charge extra. Because at my nail shop, that's what they do. Like, anything spectacular, she charging you for. So, I'm like, okay, this is really cheap. And I like it. So, I'm like, oh, I got to get it. It was really pretty, pretty color. But my nails look like m and slapped on my fingers. You hear what I'm saying? And it wasn't a lot of acrylic or anything. The man had to tell to put more acrylic on my nails. Then it was chipping off. I was like... Then the man come up to someone, what's wrong with your nails? I just looked at her. I didn't even say a word. And I'm not rude like that. So I just looked at him like, really? What's wrong with my nails? So he was like, damn. So he, gzz, gzz. he was on there a while because he had another customer. But he was coming to fix my nails because that's how much the lady messed up. Now, I felt like they should have gave me a discount. When I added the stuff in my head, they charged me maybe $3 less. They should have gave me a whole full set for free. You just messed up my nails. You know what I'm saying? But I just bit it with a bullet because I was just like, I did not go get my nails redone to wear. I kept those nails for about three weeks. You hear me? I kept them for three weeks and that was that was it. I could I could okay, I can afford to get my nails done when it's time to get them redone, but I can't be like, oh, Pay for this nails and then go back and get a big. Not yet. In due time, I'm sure God will bless me in that way. But at this particular time, I didn't have it. So I was just like, you know what? Forget it. I just bit it with a bullet and that was it. So that was a mess. So that's why I'm kind of feeling myself because she fixed me and two did the dirt thing. She did that. I really love it. They always hook me up. And then the only thing about my nail salon is they don't have a lot of different designs. I am young. I've done that lifestyle anyway. When I used to get my nails done when I was younger, like all different designs on all my hands. I don't know why I want, I'm starting to want them now because I think my mom's getting different designs. She's looking at Instagram, making me do it. And she's doing all right. She's not used to doing it. Because she has like customers from years ago, like older people. And then they bring their mamas and people with a little change. So they get this normal stuff like French manicures, light pink like me. It's just like, they do stuff like that. So she's not used to my my mama and all these designs. So I was just like, dang, I'm starting to want designs more. So then I was like, I'm trying, I don't want to creep nowhere else. But, sometimes, but I probably shouldn't because every time I creep somewhere else, somebody messes me up and they always fix it. So I'm just leaving them alone. Just stick with her and my normal life. I've got this color at least. 50 billion times since I've been at that nail shop and I've been with them five years. I have not got this sparkly part, but I've got this color pink and I'm in love with it because before, actually the first two years I was working at Cracker Barrel and we could only get a uh, French manicure. My French manicure was so pretty though. And I used to just see people coming in like, oh, give me pink, give me pink, I love it. And, and I just be like, God dang it, I wish I could do that. Now I'm like, it's just the same color over and over. That's probably why. I'm just like, God, I couldn't do it for a while. Now I can do it. So I'm just like, yes. But yeah, I just sat up here and told you a whole life story. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just me. Um, I'm not going to tell you next time I come over here, I'm going to have on makeup because I'll be lying. And I, I always say that. Probably not on the videos that I've uploaded because I up, haven't uploaded any of the videos. I had a thousand videos. I have a thousand on my freaking phone. But... For whatever reason, they don't want to act right. But I'm going to figure this thing out, y'all, because we're we going to be connected. I'm going to be cool. We're going to be Facebook friends. I'll be mean, YouTube friends. I'm going to get this thing together. But I'm going to go ahead and try to figure this thing out. I'll probably just get on the internet right now and figure it out. And I'll get back to you guys. But, you know, I'll have a blessed day. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.